coisa acontece no meu coração Que só quando cruza Ipiranga e Avenida São João É que quando eu cheguei por aqui eu nada entendi Da dura poesia concreta de tuas esquinas Da deselegância discreta de tuas meninas Ainda não havia para mim, Rita Lee, a tua mais completa tradução Alguma coisa acontece no meu coração Que só quando cruza Ipiranga e Avenida São João machines but uh, here you can see that uh, still they are all being put together by hand a tube microphone still is the number one choice, you know, because a tube microphone, if it is done right, can offer something that a solid state microphone cannot do. Because um, a tube microphone can deliver a dynamic range uh, that even exceeds the one of uh, phantom powered microphones. Uh, in practice, this range will never be reached, you know, so, um, but still the huge reserve that uh, you have when using a tube microphone uh, is, is just uh, tremendous. Um, both concepts can be very good. The tube still offers uh, some of its specific behavior, you know, so uh, you can have, when it's getting loud, you can have some nice harmonic distortion starting where uh, transistors would normally do some ugly distortion, uh, which does not so much apply to uh, fat transistors that are being used in, in microphones, because their behavior is very similar to a tube. So uh, regular bipolar transistors, they cut off the signal and field effect transistors like tubes have uh, a softer clipping. Uh, many people don't know that. So I often hear the argument that, uh, you know, uh, fat microphones will clip off. They won't unless, you know, there's uh, some other transistors in the following stages that are not uh, dimension very well and stuff so um, both concepts are good and it really depends on uh, on your budget again and what you want to do uh, an example our transistor microphones they have the same um, philosophy you know like the tube uh, microphones so they have a very simple uh, signal path, so less is more, that's a very important thing and uh, one of the advantages of, of tubes also because with very simple circuitry you can do good things. Uh, you know, the, the, the differences between uh, tubes and solid state microphones um, 
are heard in in some recording applications right so uh and then you have if if you if you're using if if you're going to the very 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 end of it if you if you say okay i want the best of the best and you know how to do it you also have the best microphones the best preamps the best musicians but also and the best room and you know everything together uh then that can be uh, the perfect experience yeah and um when you want to get the best out of um you know out of also some limited applications then still a, a good a transistor microphone can can be really really good because um you know it, again the microphone is the initial door into the world of 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 music no matter what you do and what does not happen the the information that you do not get converted at that point uh, will always be missing you can maybe sometimes with some good processing and stuff and a lot of work uh create something that tries to be similar but it's again it's like with photography you can do a lot of photoshopping and stuff so to say but um the better the initial photo the less work you have in that state and the more of the real uh image is is being kept intact so uh again you know the um it it really is is the importance of using great microphones great knowledge great no to great uh, everything it's it's a lot of things coming together <laughs> any noise <laughs> and it's pretty loud isn't it <laughs> it's it's very loud it's but yeah it's perfect but even if it's loud it's you will hear no noise <laughs> Yeah, and that also also really depends, you know. There you cannot say I I heard this a lot, you know. People say, "Okay, if you have a tube uh microphone, then do not use a tube amplifier because uh it's too much." Uh I think that's bullshit. You know, I, I'm excuse me when I say this, but I really uh, think it's bullshit because uh there's excellent tube amplifiers, you know. There's there's a lot of things on the market and this is another example how people sometimes today think about uh tube sound. They think, "Oh, uh a tube amplifier or oh, a tube microphone is something like an effect unit, okay?" Uh no, it's not an effect unit. It's it's a thing of its own and there's good and bad tube amplifiers tube microphones and everything and there's good and bad transistor uh preamps and stuff and you know the question always again is what do you want to hear and is what you are hearing is that pleasing you right so um there's many brands on the market today that uh do excellent quality preamps but again it's you know you cannot do um things like okay you have to use the xyz microphone with the abc preamp the uh you know one two three cable and that will always give the perfect uh, uh combination there is no such thing you know there is good preamps good cables good microphones good everything but what works for you uh in your situation uh you have to find out and you have to uh experience and you have to develop your own personal ideal and this is what it's all about uh because so far we only did a large diaphragm microphones but um i can definitely tell you that small diaphragm microphones are something that many people ask for and um so uh 
you should wait a bit. <laughs> Not too long. <laughs> Well, uh, I'm a sound engineer, you know, that's where I come from and my life is dedicated to art and, uh, you know, uh, one of the things that I think is an art is building microphones, which I really love to do. For me, the microphone is the most important first step into the world of audio, where, you know, the, uh, the real audio is being translated into electrical information. We want things to sound very natural, very close to uh, the real thing, as close as we can get, like a perfect image. And uh, this was always fascinating to me. I think it's the imp uh, approach, you know, so especially today with so many microphones coming from the east. So there the purpose is to build microphones in huge quantity for a uh, small budget and stuff and, um, and just because to make money with it. And um, we are building microphones because we love building microphones, you know. and. Uh, I think that's also the difference that you should be able to hear, you know. If you compare a browner microphone to some cheaper microphone and you don't hear a difference, then why buy a browner microphone, you know, makes no sense. So uh, we think that there is a difference that you can hear. and. Um, even in this day and age, we're doing quite well. So there's many people that still want a lot of quality, that want things to last. You know, we do a lot only using the finest and best materials and uh, manufacturing processes that ensure that things will last. You know, if we build something, we want it to last a lifetime. We want people to be happy with it. And for me, an example, when I work in the studio, I want to rely on my equipment. I want it to last long, you know. I hate things being wasted. Today, there's so much being wasted and we don't have uh, a lot of feeling for value anymore. To me, what matters is not only something that you can take out of the box, use for a couple of days, and then it's gonna change, or it's gonna break, or it's gonna, you know, not really do the purpose. I mean, if you start making music and you don't have a lot of money, then you must not start with a brand microphone, okay? But then when you, uh, when you discover, okay, music is really my life, music is something that I wanna grow old with or that I dedicate my life to, then there will sometimes maybe come the point where you turn to things that are made to the next level of quality and they are more expensive. A microphone, as you have seen on our tour around, even though we use machines and we use very expensive machines, the machines that you have seen are the best on the market today. Such a machine costs, you know, almost half a million. And um, so there's a lot of things, you know, uh, that we are investing. We're not saving money with cheap workers or the workers that work here. They're all, you know, getting a proper salary. They're not, you know, like poor Chinese girls uh, enslaved, you know, to uh, put volumes and volumes of, of, of boxes. This is a hand labor uh, by people, you know, that uh, really know what they do, that have a, a passion for what they do. And, and this, is, uh, this is different. We're not making mass volume stuff. We try to do the right thing. Meu bem, você me dá água na boca, vestindo fantasia.
This is the birth of Phantom Classic number 1505. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you know, the we, we don't have uh, microphones for low budget, you know, because uh, they, they all cost a lot, you know, as you've seen, for the cost of our parts, you can already buy some microphones. And uh, yes, we, well, I would not say for selected budgets, but you know, we build microphones for professional people. Period. If you're you're doing hobby stuff, then you don't need a browner. But if you are a professional, then you should look at it because it will give you something else. Uh, well, I think that the, that the most important element to consider before buying a microphone is what you want to do with it. What is the sound that you want to achieve? What music do you want to uh, make? Uh, where do you want to use it? What budget do you have? Okay, so there's the question, right? And, um, and there's so much equipment on the market today you know, where it's uh, just unbelievable and uh, it's, you know, there's no perfect answer to this uh, question because it's all about the individual situation in the end, okay? So what do you like? What what is it what you achieve? So I think that a good thing to go there is to look at people that you like. You know, in example, if there's people uh, that you really admire and that you think make good music, uh, you could take a look at how they work, what they use. So, you know, give you an idea. And uh, then there's so many forums on the internet and, and, and things, but none of that will replace your personal experience. Okay, so the way for you is, or a good way also, is not to take over, um, you know, opinion, but keep yourself open and uh, experience, oh, there's a microphone, I'm going to try it. Oh, how does it sound? What does it do? You know, and then also learn about how... Uh, how do microphones react on the sound source? How do they work in the room? And beside of that practical thing, there's also, uh, it's helpful to have some theoretical knowledge about uh, things, you know, and um, which can make uh, great recordings. So uh, it does not help you when you have a bunch of professional equipment but don't know how to use it, okay? And uh, so there's many things that, that, that go into these considerations. One day, uh, a young um, material engineer from Switzerland called me, who uh, was very humble and uh, who said, yeah, uh, he had developed a cable and he had heard about Brunner microphones and their quality and uh, he respected us and he said, well, it would be an honor for him uh, if we could maybe try his cable and tell him what we think. And I liked this approach, and so I said, okay, uh, I was not expecting a lot though, you know. <laughs> and then he sent us uh, the cable, and I tried it, and I was, I, I just was thrilled about it, because I could not believe uh, when I first heard it that a cable could make, it, uh, make such a huge difference, 
you know this has uh, started our relationship with uh, Volvox and I think the best cable uh, that I know of and that I have tried is really this cable so this is also why we bundle all our microphones with uh, Volvox cables really because um, you know there's an, there's an extra they're very expensive but they're fantastic and I think they make a huge difference that you can really really hear the the signal is much more authentic it is much more integral it is much more uh, what you want so it's it's it is making a huge difference yeah so where it all starts is here where this is a microphone right or there's a several microphones it's inside the tubes and all uh, we need to do is get it out of this so this is the housings uh, when they're cut they're cut here on a machine And then they're going into this machine. So this <coughs> this is the first step then. So it's from here to here. Okay. And now, the next one is <coughs> that the inside <coughs> is uh, being prepared. You can see it in the machine. Okay, so that's the first step. The first thing here. <clears throat> now what we do is uh, sandpaper where you get away the sharp edges. So that's it, that's the finished microphone body. Okay? And then we go over to uh, another machine. Second step is that we take this housing and put it into this machine. So it's going on to here. And then uh, have it exactly straight. And now it's measuring the tool. Now it's putting the logo inside. That's this step. So the next step then is that this whole thing goes into the sand blasting cabin. So where it's, uh, you know, very fine glass pearls. We have very fine glass pearls that go into it. And uh, after that, then it's carefully packed. And then it's uh, going into um, the plating to get some nickel onto it and that's the next thing and uh, that we're going to show in another room sandblasted with glass pearls and uh, the nickel is on it and then the next step is that the mesh and the wire comes into it and the logo and everything gets black so he's uh, preparing the windscreens for the um, big microphones so you see it's all manufacturing at this stage 
So there's some precision machine work, but also there's a lot of precision hand work. So it's all very tight. So and that's the windscreen. <laughs> the suspensions for the uh, shock mounts for the Phantom. So it's all handwork. It's it's you know sure the uh, the parts come from the machines, but. Uh, here you can see that uh, still they are all being put together by hand and it's all a lot of work where um, then also sandblasted and uh, coated and uh, the, the lever is also attached so that's the final product going into the drawers waiting for the final step and then we also have the black ones here for the velvet X so this is uh, anodized black the big suspensions for the big microphones it's also a lot of handwork all the machines uh, the parts are made and being put together and the windscreen that you have seen being uh, made and this is all the microphones the vmx vmx pc VM1, VM1 PC, and they all go into the drawers. And we take them out from here when we uh, manufacture the final microphones. Transformer alone costs uh, or more than 100 euros because it's uh, fully shielded with mu metal. It's done by a, a German company, it's all completely German. And uh, this is from Switzerland, great filters and uh, only best components that go into the microphone though. For the cost of the transformer alone today you get uh, like a stereo pair of Chinese microphones. And the capsule is being put on here. And this is before it goes into the housing, so this is the final microphone. This goes into the housing. The screws are being put in. And then it's finished. This is a cabin where uh, all the microphones come when they are made. And here they are burnt in under some conditions. So we leave them on for a couple of days and then we see uh, if all the electrical values are fine and then they are being controlled by some uh, measuring programs. So it goes into a breakout box outside in a measuring uh, computer which will uh, see that all the data is within uh, the required uh, regions. One, two, one, two. Okay, so uh, here we can really hear every detail of the microphone, right? We have the silent room and uh, the precision amplifier. And then we can hear if there's any noise or something wrong or whatever. And um, this will tell us finally if the microphone is completely okay. And then uh, we test every microphone here and we listen to them also, we measure them. And uh, after that is being done, um, they go into um, the cases and then they're being shipped. And uh, then they're packed and then they are going on their way to their final honest then, which hopefully are all as happy with them using them as uh, we are with making them. <laughs> okay, thank you. He's out in the boat, riding the water.